Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of enlarged prostate, that is prostatomegaly. A 70 years old male patient came with lower urinary tract symptoms. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the urinary bladder and there is a hugely enlarged prostate in transverse section. And you can also see this prostate on longitudinal section. The median lobe is enlarged causing indentation towards the bladder wall. This is one of the largest prostates I have ever seen with a volume of around 123cc. No definite mass lesion could be identified from this view. So here is the picture of this prostate and you can see the enlarged median lobe is causing indentation towards the bladder wall. The prostate is causing around 40 mm indentation towards the bladder wall. To see the parenchymal lesion, we have magnified the image and you can see the prostate gland parenchyma looks quite good here. There is no definite lesion here except this anechoic tiny cystic structure at the inner gland region. It might be a vessel or it might be a cystic area. To confirm it, we can use the color Doppler ultrasound. Here on color Doppler, you can see the cystic area shows no definite vascular flow, indicating this as a simple cyst, and the prostate gland shows normal uniform vascular supply. There is no abnormal flow or aberrant vessels within the parenchyma, which hopefully excludes the possibility of any definite malignant lesion, which can be detected with ultrasound. Here is the transverse and longitudinal section of the prostate with a high PRF setting on Doppler. We took the sample from the peripheral artery and it shows a moderate resistant wave pattern with a good flow on the diastole. This is the normal vascular pattern and peak systolic velocity measures about 29 cm per second and endostolic velocity was 10 cm per second indicating a resistive index of 0.65 which doesn't go favor of any malignancy. As you have already seen that the median lobe has indented towards the bladder wall, we can see that part on 3D ultrasound also. Here is the four dimensional reconstructed view of the lesion. You can see the sagittal section here. This is the axial section. And this is the coronal section. Combination of these three sections will form a beautiful 3D image, which we have shown here. Now, this is a raw 3D data which may not look quite good. So, we reconstructed it, and now the picture comes like this. So this is the four dimensional view of the urinary bladder lumen showing the median lobe enlargement indenting towards the bladder. Isn't it a good view? There are multiple views we have taken. Let's check that. So these are the pictures of the 3D ultrasound image of the enlarged median lobe through the urinary bladder. So in summary, the prostate gland is grossly enlarged. Enlarged median lobe is causing about 40 mm indentation towards the bladder wall. Color Doppler shows uniformly distributed parenchymal vessels with moderate resistant arterial flow. So the ultimate diagnosis is enlarged prostate, possibly benign prostatic enlargement. Now the take home message. Abnormal parenchymal vascularity and heterogeneous ecotexture in a patient with enlarged prostate with microcalcification and raised serum prostate specific antigen that is PSA should be assessed further with transrectal ultrasound or MRI to exclude malignancy. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.